So in July 2020, David Sinclair was interviewed by the Harvard Chan School Alumni Book Club, where he was asked, is science going to come to the rescue? Are we going to live longer and healthier lives? And in your book, you say to eat less, to be hungry more often. Why is that? Uh, well, absolutely we are. Uh, we've, we now have a very good handle on what causes us to grow old, uh, what lifestyle factors influence that. We can now measure biological age very accurately with a, a swab, a cheek swab or a blood test. Um, and we now, just in the last few years, uh, I believe have a very good handle on, on understanding how to reverse the age of the body, not just slow down aging, but truly reset the, the youthful information that I believe resides in every cell in the body. And uh, three years ago, we didn't know that existed. We thought that aging was a one-way street and the best you could do was to slow it down. Um, but as I'll tell you today, um, there's something brand new. You know, similar to, I would, I would liken it to uh, people who are trying to fly around the world in hot air balloons, thinking that was the best they could ever do. Um, and three years ago, the, we had the equivalent of the first powered flight uh, by the Wright brothers. And when that happens, then you really have to start changing your views of what's possible. So what's interesting about the science of aging is that people over the centuries, or arguably the millennia, have figured out why certain populations and individuals live longer than others. And, and it's just observation, right? It's, it's obvious that if you eat Mediterranean-like diets and you don't eat overeat uh, carbohydrates in particular, but be, be, if you become obese, if you don't move, these lead to poor health outcomes and shorter lifespans. And we can do this to animals in the lab. It's pretty easy. You can shorten their lifespan by about 40%. And the opposite is true as well. If you take animals, and I include dogs and rats, um, mice, of course, in my lab, if you restrict how much they eat, uh, roughly 20, 30%. I mean, it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you do it, you can skip a meal a day or you can just give them a little bit each meal. That has remarkable longevity and health benefits so that they're not just living longer, actually at the same age, uh, they are remarkably healthier compared to the mice that ate whatever they wanted to called ad libitum. So this is not new and it's not even rocket science. Um, even exercise, we know that 10 minutes of losing your breath every day has health benefits, but nobody's really come up with a good explanation as to why that happens. It's so obvious we take it for granted, but why does eating, eating less make you healthier? And that's where these breakthroughs have come in. Uh, my field over the last 20 years have discovered uh, three key areas in the cell, three key genetic pathways that respond to diet and exercise and hunger. Uh, and turn on the body's natural defenses against the deterioration process we call aging. Um, and then we've taken that just recently much further and achieved what exercise and a good healthy diet could, could never alone do, and that is reset the age of the body. We don't know the best diet, partly because um, everybody's different um, and everybody has different uh, uh, you know, levels of willpower. The one that, that I do uh, is called the 16-8. I try to skip breakfast. I have a little bit of breakfast. Um, I'll show you. So this is a typical breakfast for me. It's a couple of spoonfuls of, of low fat yogurt, uh, plain yogurt with some resveratrol and some NMN thrown in. The, I can tell you later what they do, but these are molecules we've discovered in my lab uh, to um, activate defenses in the body that we call the sirtuins. Um, do I know that this is going to make me live longer? No. Um, but do I know that they're very, very safe and very cheap? Yeah. So that's the risk I'm taking. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to live forever. Uh, any of you who've seen what car of, kind of car I drive, I drive a Tesla, you know, you can tell that I'm not trying to live forever, but I am trying to learn things uh, within the short time that I have on this planet. There's not much time left. I'm, I'm now 51. Um, my father has a very similar diet, um, eating these molecules, very small breakfast, try to skip lunch or have just a tiny um, lunch, maybe salad. 
Uh, and then, then dinner is, is, is normal. You know, some alcohol, I even eat meat if I've been working out. So it's, I put all my enjoyment towards the end of the day. But if you don't like dinner, you can have a big breakfast. But as long as one of the meals in your, your day has been skipped, that's a very good start. But some people are better than me. Some people can skip meals entirely for two or three days. Uh, even some people go for a week, which I suppose may be better than what I do. I, I just cannot do it. Uh, I cannot function. I, I tend to get too hungry. Um, but the way I do it, uh, with a bit of yogurt in the morning, with my pill, uh, I don't get, don't get hungry at all. In fact, I feel a lot better not being bloated. 